we did have um, five. We had Easton, myself, Lindsay, Cassie, and Katrina. Katrina is still here, but she does play sessions. Lindsay has gone back to New York to go back to school for zoology, and Cassie has gone home for a few days to see her family. Hopefully she comes back, we'll find out. So it's just myself and Easton now, so we've got to try and knock everything out. Same amount of work, just a whole lot less people, but a team, we got this. you're smart or not. Do you want to tag tag team this or what? I'll rake if you want to feed and water. I know what. Okay. So, whoa, wasn't that just go to the barn? Multiple Person. trips. Total lack of efficiency. Freaking just falling past the freaking barn right there. When you're walking back, you have to go ahead and water Nancy. Yeah. yeah. She's dirty if she's not. She doesn't look dirty. See how small it is with the. She hasn't dug them up, I'm surprised. That's what we did. I'm actually pretty shocked. I thought surely the next morning it was going to be a disaster. Alright, I'm going to need some fit here. Alright, I'm going to need some fit here. You see, this is what I deal with. Level of Let me tell you what I deal with because as soon as ridiculous. I say, hey, what's your plan for that? What's your agenda? And then you don't give me any results. So then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to wing it and see what's correct. In my mind, I see this bucket lid cracking him right. So here we have our North American porcupine, Puka, scratching her head right there. So she doesn't need a tremendous amount, so we're pretty picky as to what we give her to make sure she's got stuff that she likes. Um, I'm just going to clean off the top of her house real quick and get her new tray set up, and it'll take her about a minute or two, and then she'll come down, and she usually goes for either the banana or the corn on the cob first. Puka is one of our little shy woodland creatures. This is her deliciousness. Look, she's already on her way down. She's got some pears, some sweet potato, broccoli, cherries, blueberries, grapes, uh, one whole avocado, strawberry, no schnozberry, who's ever even heard of a schnozberry, and a banana, which we will peel, and she's already ready for it. She's like, mmm. Smell
Uh, this shit came from Dodge City, Kansas Zoo because the USDA was on them, so rather than fix the problem, they sent them here for us to fix the problem. But that's what we do. We have a, a say no policy. We take everything that needs somewhere to go. Alright, today we actually just put this guy in here. This is a Japanese snow macaque. Um, it's going to join the primate house. We have a capuchin that got put back there by RJ in the medical building. Um, still trying to get acclimated to their surroundings, a little confused on what's going on. Uh, hopefully, come back and check in a little bit and see if they're in a little more relaxed right now. Uh, seem to be doing okay. I haven't had a chance to go back and check on the capuchin yet, but this guy right here is just still kind of getting getting his bearings a little bit, so uh, I'm excited. We are back here again at the primate house and we've got our new Japanese snow macaque that just came in a few days ago. He's settling in. He has not decided to shift yet so he can go in and rake his yard, but he is eating well, so that's the most important thing and he seems to be adjusting pretty well. So I'm going to see if he wants a little treat. Want one? Oh yeah. He seems to really have a fondness for oranges, as you can tell. So he seems to be doing pretty well, and we have a few other primates that we've moved around, and we brought another new capuchin in, so we'll be checking those guys out here in a little bit and see how they're doing.